Man receives a huge honor as the city of Jackson sets aside a day on the calendar to recognize his events. Greg, uh, Ginger Trice rather joins us now with more on Edward Mitchell Day and the special young man it's named for. Ginger? Tom Mickey, those who know Edward Mitchell cannot say enough good things about him. He's described as an incredibly positive, upbeat student, even though his life has been far from easy. Please, with how things have gone today. Yeah. He has a smile that can melt any heart. I wouldn't want to be any other place. And an attitude that is an inspiration to many. Who is 19 years old, does not see his limitations, but only sees his goals and dreams. But this happy young man has suffered through unbelievable tragedy. It, it, was, it was tough because I was still in high school. I had many things taken from me. It was three years ago today that Edward Mitchell was struck in a hit-and-run accident and paralyzed from the chest down. Uh, the guy was never was never caught, and uh, I just hope, I, like I've said before, I've forgiven him, and I'm just trying to go on with my life and trying to achieve, achieve my goals. Now a freshman at Lane College with a 3.2 GPA, Edward is doing just that. Whereas this young man is leading a remarkable life and is example for all young people. Wednesday to honor the inspiring young man and the obstacles he's overcome. The Jackson City Council declared March 29th Edward Mitchell Day. Edward took the opportunity in the spotlight to recognize others. I'd like to say thank you to all those who have befriended me this year. I appreciate all those that have opened doors or have checked in to make sure I have everything I need. Especially the ones that ask that they can catch a ride on the back of the chair. <laughs> These people have really been here. They've encouraged me to motivate me to go on, and it's just been a great deal. Yeah. Now, Edward says his next big goal is to be able to drive a car. He's currently going through rehabilitation and says he hopes to someday be out of his wheelchair. And Tom Mickey, I don't know who could do it if he can't. Ginger Trice, 7 Eyewitness News. Thank you, Ginger, for that report. We'll also top in the